Tropical storms are low pressure weather systems with intense rainfall and winds. Now low pressure just means when warm air rises. Did you know that a hurricane, typhoon and cyclone are all the exact same thing? They are just all named differently dependent on the location they were formed. For example, hurricanes are formed in the northeast Pacific and North Atlantic, cyclones are formed in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, and typhoons are formed in the Northwest Pacific. Conditions needed for a tropical storm to form. There are three conditions which you must know which tropical storms need to form. One, it must be between 5 and 30 degrees north and south of the equator. Two, the sea temperatures must be at a minimum of 27 degrees Celsius. This is because heat fuels the storm. And three, the wind shear, which is the difference in wind speed, must be low. How do tropical storms develop? So firstly, due to the increased temperature and heat, the warm surface water then evaporates, rises and condenses into clouds. This releases huge amounts of energy, which fuel a powerful storm. The rising air is drawn up quickly, which creates low pressure, thus increasing surface winds. Due to the Coriolis force, which is when winds move in specific direction due to the Earth's tilt and axis, the storm spins. As the storm moves over the ocean, the energy from the warm water supply strengthens the storm, so wind speed only increases. The storm would only lose strength when they move over land or cool water, due to the energy supply being cut off. What are the features and structures of a tropical storm? Well, the centre of the storm is called the eye. It is up to 50 kilometres across and is caused by descending air. In the eye, there is very low pressure, light winds, no clouds, no rain and a high temperature. The eye is surrounded by the eye wall, where there's spiralling rising air very strong winds, storm clouds and torrential rain. Towards the outer skirts of the storm, the wind speeds fall, the clouds become smaller and more scattered and the rain becomes less intensive as the temperature increases. How climate change may affect tropical storms. Frequency, the oceans will stay at 27 degrees Celsius or higher for longer each year due to climate change, so there is therefore a longer period for the storm to form. Distribution. As the average ocean temperature rises, more of the world's oceans could be above 27 degrees Celsius, which may mean tropical storms may form in areas that haven't experienced or prepared for them before. Intensity. Higher sea surfaces temperatures are likely to result in more evaporation, increased cloud formation, so more energy is released and storms become more powerful. How to reduce the effect of tropical storms? There are three ways, as usual in geography, prediction and monitoring, planning and protection. So in terms of prediction, storms can be monitored using radar satellites, predicted where and when a storm is going to happen. Planning. Future developments can be avoided in low-lying coastal areas and governments can plan evacuation plans and routes and invite emergency services to prepare for disasters. And finally, protection. Buildings designed to withstand storms for example, being put on stilts so they're safe from the flood water should be put into effect and flood defences can be built along rivers. For more videos on GCSE English, French, Geography and Computer Science, subscribe to No Waffle GCSE. Thank you for watching and see you soon. <laughs>